Hi, museum members. Here is a special video just for you. My name is Marie, and I'm coming to you from the ScienceWorks Amphitheatre. Now, have you ever wondered what happens to the air all around us, the gases in the air when we cool them down? I'd like you to take a nice, big, deep breath in. <gasps> Did you know that about 80% of what you just breathed in is a gas called nitrogen? <sighs> So nitrogen is in the air all around us as a gas. But when you cool it down a lot, and I mean a lot, you can turn it into a liquid. Liquid nitrogen is actually negative 196 degrees Celsius. That is colder than anywhere we have ever recorded on our planet. I have some liquid nitrogen here in this flask, and I'm about to pour it into this special flask here, which is called a Dewa flask. Now you can see when I pour it in to this flask, it is bubbling away. And that's because liquid nitrogen is always boiling. So things can boil even though they're really, really cold. What's happening is it is boiling and it's turning from a liquid into a gas and disappearing into the air all around us. So what happens if we cool some of that air down with this liquid nitrogen? Well, I have here a balloon which I blew up just before, so it's full of the air from my lungs and the air all around us. Let's see what happens to all of these gases when I pour this liquid nitrogen on them and I cool them down a lot. So you can see that the balloon starts to get smaller. It looks like it is shrinking. And if you listen carefully, it has a kind of crunchy sound. Do you wanna see what the balloon looks like now? Look at that! I wonder if we can make it go back to the same size. Here we go. Check it out. So what actually happened there was because we made the gases inside the balloon really, really cold when we poured the liquid nitrogen on them, they actually all came together. Gases, when you cool them down, they come together and they contract or they shrink. They take up less space. But when we took the balloon back out, it warmed up because the air around us is much warmer than the liquid nitrogen, of course. That's pretty cool. How can you do this at home? Well, if you get a plastic bottle and you put on top of it a balloon, you'll be trapping all of the gases inside of that bottle. Then you can uh, very carefully heat some water up in a kettle, uh, ask someone to help you if you need some help, pour it into a glass or a uh, bowl, something like this, uh, and then get some cold water. You can add some ice cubes from your fridge as well to make it really cold. You can see what happens to the different temperatures when you put this bottle in with the gases. So if you put the bottle into the hot water, see what happens to the gases when you heat them up, and then put it in the cold water and see what happens to the gases then. We'd love you to tell us what you find out, so please tag us in your social media with hashtag ScienceWorks.